Qualcomm on Tuesday debuted its groundbreaking Snapdragon 835 system on a chip at Seas. Following the 835 launch, the company joined Osterhout Design Group in unveiling two new ODG augmented reality headsets, the R8 and R9, which are the first Snapdragon 835 powered devices to be announced. The Snapdragon SOC is the first chip built using the ultra advanced 10 nanometers FinFit process node, said Qualcomm spokesperson Liz Sweeney. The Snapdragon 835 is 35% smaller and consumes 25% less power than its predecessors, which equates to longer battery life and thinner designs, she told Tech News World. The SOC is designed for advanced R, VR capabilities, cutting edge camera capabilities, and enables biometric security capabilities, Sweeney noted. The Snapdragon 835 opens the door to a whole new connected future. Qualcomm has teamed up with Ericsson and AT&T to drive widespread adoption of 5G. We are actively working with industry leaders around the world to test 5G and 5G in our technologies, Sweeney said. The Snapdragon 835 has an integrated Qualcomm X16 Gigabit LTE modem and it's possible for a premium tier 800 series Snapdragon processor with integrated gigabit LTE modem to be used in 5G mobile devices, she explained. The Snapdragon 835 represents a change in strategy for Qualcomm, said Jim McGregor, a principal analyst at Tyria's research. It's the first generation of chipsets resulting from a new collaboration with ARM, he told Tech News World. The Cairo processor used in the 835 employs ARM cores optimized for Qualcomm rather than Qualcomm processor cores, which will free up resources to optimize future Qualcomm design processes for other processes for other applications, McGregor explained. That's a game changer, he said. To develop our enabled mobile computing and entertainment applications for the R8 and R9 smart glasses, ODG has teamed with 21st Century Fox, which is also an investor, cloud rendering company Otoy, and PTC, which provides the VU 4 UR platform. The R8 and R9 are self-contained fully loaded computers, said Nima Shams, VP of Headworn at ODG. They can do anything your tablet or laptop can do, with additional R and VR overlays to present digital information as a seamless part of your real world she told Tech News World. ODG is pioneering the next-generation mobile computing platform, revolutionizing how we work, communicate and consume content, Shams said. Phones are reaching saturation, form factors are getting smaller, and people are looking for more out of their mobile devices. For those who might raise a skeptical eye over the R, VR demos, they are actual representations of the technology's capabilities rather than video special effects, according to Shams. Leap recently came under fire when news surfaced that the impressive trailer on its site actually was a special effects video and not a demo of its art technology, as May had assumed. Our demos are real, Shams said. We're on our ninth generation product. We've been shipping to military and enterprise customers since 2011. We have a cool racing game demo that shows our VR and the mixed reality. The R8 will be generally available in the second half of this year for less than US$1,000, and the R9 will be available in the second quarter for US$1,800. The price point is still too high for mainstream adoption, but this is a real leap forward in consumer and industrial R glasses, said Kevin Creel a principal analyst at Tyria's research. They are state-of-the-art glasses and are still cheaper than Microsoft HoloLens, he told Tech News World. The glasses are very comfortable to wear and the bright overlay displays create almost a VR experience but maintain peripheral vision, Creel said. Frost and Sullivan has predicted that 2017 will be the year of our, noted Michael Jude, a program manager at the firm, told Tech News World. ODG is pushing the device space. Tech News Update